Hello, I'm Amy Brandt, Nurse Case Manager with Pediatric Oncology, and we are here today with some very special people kicking off our St. Baldrick's event a little early. Val, can you introduce yourself? I'm Valsa Zolka, and I'm actually a one-chart analyst here at Nebraska Medicine, and I work with our store team, which is our labor and delivery folks. Awesome, and who do you have right next to you? This is actually my son, Alex, and this is his first year Saint, doing St. Baldrick's, and this is my second, and so he asked to join the team this year, so he's with me here today. Perfect, so our event is actually Friday from 1 to 3 p.m., and why are you guys shaving a little bit early? We are shaving a little bit early because the event is Friday afternoon, but we are actually going out of town on vacation this year. And as much as I hate to miss the event, um, we figured we would have a little bit of fun with my work family here and shave our heads a little bit early. And so with our leadership support, here we are this afternoon. Yeah, awesome. Woo! Oh wait. Woo! <laughs> All right, I think we can get started while we're talking. Who wants to go first? I think Alex is going to go first. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey. Hey. Alex, have you ever had your head shaved before? Uh, yes. Uh, last year I did it with my mom. To, uh, After the event, did you do it with your mom? It was before the event. Before the event. So you got her all prepared of what she was going to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. So. St. Baldrick's is a foundation that is, all the money goes to pediatric cancer research. Um, pediatric cancer is largely unfunded, and other than the national government, this is the biggest private funder. So why did you guys decide to brave the shave? So that's kind of one of the reasons that we did too, is pediatric cancer research is grossly underfunded, and so we want to provide a little extra funding to find pediatric cancer um, solutions. And we also have a family friend, her name is Eloise, and at one year old she was diagnosed with a retinoblastoma, and she's been fighting it ever since. And she just had her second birthday and is doing well. But we kind of figured it was a great way to give back and help provide that additional funding that they're looking for to help find solutions for cancer. Perfect. Now, can you tell everybody how easy it is to become a part of this event? It is extremely easy. If you go to St. Baldrick's webpage, um, you can easily sign up straight from there. They take volunteers, they take shavies, um, they always need volunteers the day of the event. So if you don't feel like going bald for a few months, um, they'll take volunteers as well. We kind of have a great time. It's Yay! <laughs> Now whose turn is it? You're excited to watch it? <laughs> now he's smiling. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Can't go back now. No. <laughs> Did you like having a shaved head? I've heard from coworkers it's pretty nice with getting ready. The first and time that the air like hits your head, it's really <laughs> nice when it's 100 degrees outside. So I did not mind at all having a shaved head last year. Um, it was a really fun event and it actually grows back really quickly. And so it wasn't missing for very long. Yeah, did you have a lot of people ask why? The best part about this foundation is these events are really great awareness of for the foundation because everybody kind of wonders why you had a shaved head or what you're doing it for. Did you have many people ask you? At random places yeah almost so they give us these great buttons that say ask me why I'm bald and so people really do stop and ask you hey I read your button so why are you bald which gives you the opportunity to start a conversation around St. Baldrick's what the foundation does for kids and helping find cures for pediatric cancer and so it just, it's a great way to start the conversation and also like my personal thought is that it's a great way to show those kids that they're not alone um, we're going to shave our heads. We're going to look like you so that you don't have to feel different. Yes, long. absolutely. I always say that's the most important thing of our event is our patients actually kick off our event by shaving our doctor's heads, which is so nice because it just shows our patients and our families that we <laughs> are there to brave the shave with them and to be a part of them. And the kids have a blast shaving their doctor's heads and getting back at them for the yes. actual day of the event. So we always start off with that. 
That was, I think, my favorite part was watching all the kiddos shave heads last year, and they had so much fun, and there were so many clippers going, and those poor docs just had like four shavers coming at them all the time. <laughs> and they've both done it for more than 10 years, so they are great sports, and that's outstanding. Awesome. Oh, it looks so good. Yay! All right, if anybody is interested, you're welcome to go to the stbaldricks.org website and you just type in Nebraska Medicine and it says join here. And you can um, you can sign up to be a volunteer, like Valid said. You can sign up to be an actual shavee or whatever you would like to help with. The more money we raise, the better. We have raised um, a little over 10,000 so far and we're hoping to hit 17,000. Last year we hit 16,500, so we'd like to do better every year. So please come join us. And thank you guys so much for doing this and kicking off our event today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, wave goodbye to everybody. We had to get a nice, close look at these heads <laughs> before we send it it's off. All, gone. <laughs> all right, bye guys, thank you. Bye.